Hi guys, so these are the four products we are going to be using in achieving a very nice brow and of course we are going to be using a brow pencil and I'm using the Wet n Wild brow pencil. We're going to be using a flat eyeshadow brush and that is to clean up our brows with the concealer. We're going to be using a spoolie brush to comb our brow hairs in place. And of course, a concealer for cleanup. So my concealer is finished. As you guys can see, I cut through it. That way I can get everything out. <laughs> so the very first thing we're going to be doing is to set our brow with some powder. This is to remove any oil residues that we might have on our brow. Now I'm going to go ahead and comb my brow hairs upwards with my spoolie brush. Now I'm going to use my pencil to outline my brows and as you guys can see, I am going to be studying drawing my brows. Um, a little bit behind the front of my brows. So I'm not going all the way to the front because I want that, that side to be faded. So that's why I am studying drawing the brows a little bit behind my brow hairs. So I'm gonna stop right there because I don't want the brow to be super long because then it's going to look a little bit weird. So I'm just going to um, stop right there at that line at the corner of my eyes right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the top part of my brow. I'm just going to go ahead and outline it. I'm just shaping it just um, the natural line of my brows. That's how I'm shaping my brows. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the middle and I'm just lightly filling it out. Okay, so now I am gonna take my spoolie brush and I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna comb through my brow hair very gently. And as I'm combing, I am combing towards the front as well. But I want, since I didn't line the front, so it's gonna be a little faded, as you guys can see. So I'm just brushing it very gently right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my brow pencil again, and I am going to make the end part of my brows a little darker than the front side because you always want the end part to be dark. Not super dark, but darker than the front part of your brow. So that is what I'm doing here. And I'm gonna take my spoolie brush again and I'm just gonna brush through the hair very gently again. So now that my brow, I put product on my brows, now we're going to jump to the cleaning part and I am using my concealer and I'm just going to place that at the back of my hand. I'm going to dab my brush into the concealer on both sides and now we're going to start cleaning the brow. So this is where you get the final results of what your brow is going to look like. So you want to be very, very gentle and you want to take it easy. You don't want to rush this path because then you you might end up messing the whole walk that you did. So we're just going to take it easy at this path and just clean up our brows. And I am uh, using a lot of concealer here to clean up because I want it to be um, clean enough. So I use like a little bit thick concealer. So 
So I'm going to bring that down onto my eyes because that serves as a base whenever I'm doing eyeshadow. So I like to bring it down to my eyes as well. Now we're going to do the same at the top also. I did not add any product on the brush for the top side of the brow. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the top pad as well. Okay, so for me, I like um, my top brows. I don't like like the super arched brow, so I'm just gonna curve it a very natural curve, like so. So that's what I'm doing. I don't. I just don't like the super arched brows. This is how I like to do my brows. Just kind of naturally curved. I think it's better. Okay, so now I'm using a small blending brush and I'm just going to blend that concealer. As you guys can see, I am just dabbing and not sweeping the concealer all over around because I don't want to um, move the concealer too much. So I'm just dab, dab, dab. Okay, and for the top part, we're going to make sure that I blend it very good because I don't want my concealer, I don't want that line concealer to be so visible by the time I'm done applying my entire makeup. So we're going to make sure we blend the top part very well. Okay, so now that I'm satisfied with how my brow looks, I am just going to go ahead and um, set the brow hairs in place. And I'm using my Got To Be Ultra Glue Gel. You can use um, a regular brow gel if you want, but I like to use this because it works better for me. It just sets my brow hairs in place, especially if you have those kind of stubborn brows that just goes everywhere. You might want to try using the Got To Be Glue to set it in place. It does wonders, like seriously. Okay, so now I'm taking my concealer brush and I'm just going to clean that um, bottom brow a little bit more because it's not, it's not looking the way I want it to look. So I'm just going to clean up a little bit more. And yeah, guys, so this is what my brows looks like, and I really like it. It's such a big difference from the brow that is not done. So as you guys can see, this is my undone brow. And then you have my very slicked done brow here and yeah, um, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching it like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next one bye